Hello all, Stephanie Anderson here with the Teen YA Author Critique Group. I just wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to use Google Docs for those of you who are unfamiliar with using it. Um, this is going to be the best method to share our manuscripts with each other and to allow all the other members to comment on your document. Um, it has been very useful uh, this first week that we've been doing this. Um, so I just wanted to show you how to use it if you are not familiar with it. Uh, if you have a Gmail account, you already have access to Google Drive or Google Docs. Um, if you do not have a Gmail account, definitely sign up for one. Uh, it's very easy and it's free, and then you'll have a, a, a Gmail email address. Um, I have about five Gmail email addresses, so um, it's it's just a great uh, a great uh, use because they give you free storage space. Um, for your photos and for documents and everything. So definitely, definitely sign up for it if you do not have one. Um, okay, so to access Google Docs or Google Drive, um, what you're going to do is um, just from google.com, you're going to click on the upper right-hand corner. Um, you have to make sure you're, signed, uh, you're logged in first. So I'm already logged in. Um, and then you click on this little square that consists of nine little squares and it is the Google Apps uh, box. So when you click on that, you're going to see all these different icons. The only two that you need to be concerned about, or one, depending on what method you want to use, is Google Drive, which is this icon, and then the Google Docs, which is this icon. Okay, I am going to share with you two different ways to uh, put a document into Google Docs that you can then share. You can choose which method that you want to use. Um, I'm going to show you the easiest method first, and that is just going straight into Google Docs. So what you do is click on that little button, Google Apps, and then find Google Docs and just click on it. OK, and this is what Google Docs looks like when you first open it up. It's going to list any files that you have open or that you've opened over the past couple of days, which are owned by other people like you'll see uh, some other names listed here and these are just other documents that I've reviewed from people um, and so to get your document into your Google Docs all you have to do is click on start a new document and you want to start a blank document okay and Google Docs is just basically a word processing program that is online it's, it's similar to Word it's not as robust as Word but you can do the basic things that you need to do for your manuscript and it saves everything um, into the Google Cloud so it'll allow you to access it from anywhere and all the other members of our group can access it so now that you have a new Google Doc open, all you have to do is go to wherever your document is saved at. And um, I do everything in Word, so my manuscript is saved in Word. So slowly but surely. All right. And I'm only going to share chapter two of this particular uh, book because I've already shared chapter one and I don't want to share more than one chapter. Uh, it, we have found it easier if you only share one or two chapters at a time, it, you're able to get feedback much faster. Um, okay, so what I did in my document is I just selected the chapter that I want to share and I've copied it to my clipboard. And now what I'm going to do is just paste it. Okay, so this was chapter two. All right, so now there it is easy peasy okay now I'm not going to show you how to share it just yet because I'm going to show you another method in getting your document into Google Docs and once I get that one in I'll show you how to share it so we're going to close this and we are going to go back into the Google Apps but this time I'm going to access it through Drive so I'm going to go to Google Drive and basically Google Drive is kind of your own cloud server through Google Google so you can save whatever documents you want you can create folders um, so it can be just like your storage um, through Google so what I do uh, and this is the method I do because um, I'll show you in just a minute uh, why I use this method it's, it, it does require a few more steps um, but 
I, I prefer this method um, because I'm a nerd. So I am going to select the document for upload. And then once it finishes uploading, it's going to say your upload is complete. It's going to list the file here on the file list. And all you have to do is either click here or click here. And you'll notice that um, these icons, this one has a W and then this one has the three lines. The three lines signifies that it is a Google Docs folder and this one signifies that it is a Word folder. Now what we're going to do is we want to actually convert this Word folder into a Google Docs. So all we have to do is click on the file and um, tell it to open with Google Docs. So we're going to tell it to open with Google Docs and now it's going to go through the process of converting your Word file into Google Docs. All right, so now we've got it in. Now, if you look, you'll notice I have all this garbage in here. You're like, Ugh, I don't want to read it with all this garbage in here. So you can actually go through and just accept all the changes or um, you can actually, um, I don't know if there's a way to turn off track changes within Google Docs, so that'll be a good question for somebody who may know. Um, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back to my original Word document um, and turn off track changes and then resave it. And I've already done that, so I'm not going to uh, walk you through that process. So I already have a document that the track changes are turned off. So we're going to close all that and we're going to go back to drive and upload that file. So it is the 8A and then I am going to open it and then I'm going to open it with Google Docs. transferring and here it is and you'll notice all the track changes are gone now I uploaded my entire document here um, and, and you say you may say well why is this easier than cutting and pasting well it's not easier than cutting and pasting I just prefer this because you'll notice my page size here is just like my original document um, it has a tendency to keep more of your formatting from your Word document intact. Um, it keeps the page size. And when I type my manuscript in, I actually use the five and a half by eight and a half size because it helps me determine how long my book is going to be. Um, and that's what I care about. I do both paperback, hardback, and um, ebooks. So I want to know what my page count is for that pay, uh, for that paperback and for the hardback um, and as I type. So that's why I do it in this size. So when you import your document from Word into Google Docs, it keeps everything intact. If you cut it, copy and paste, it just pastes it into a normal eight and a half by 11 size, which is may, it may be what you type with and that's fine. You can just do it however you want. I'm just a, a bit of a nerd and I like to keep certain things intact. Now you could of course go in and change your file size, your page size in Google Docs. So, you know, it's not a big deal if you do want to copy and paste. All right, so now I am just getting rid of all the chapters that I do not want to share. Um, all right, so now I've got this done. You don't have to save it or anything because it saves it automatically. So now I have this in here and I'm ready to share. So what you do is click on this little blue share button in the top right hand corner and it says private to only me right now. And so we're going to share it. Click on that button and we don't have any names or email addresses. You do not need to worry about that. The only thing you need to worry about is this get shareable link. So we're going to click on that. And it's going to give you a couple of different options on how you want to share it. The default is anyone with this link can view. You don't want to leave it on that because what that is going to, it's not going to allow us to make any comments on your document. So what you want to do is you want to change it to anyone with this link can comment. That's what you want, can comment, okay? All right, so once you have changed that, go ahead and copy the link again, click on done, and then now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the to the group and you're just going to go ahead and paste that link into uh, into the message bar. 
All right, so now before you click on post, there's a couple of things I want you to do at this point. I want you to, uh, I'll show you where it's at. We're going to go to Facebook. We're going to go to groups. We're going to code our group. And uh, if you look on under announcements, the top one that's posted, it is says author critique guidelines. Click on continue reading and under number two, you'll see here we have submitting your work for progress, submitting your work in progress. Um, number two, it says when you post a manuscript for critique, be sure to use the following structure for your submission. So just go here and copy. Now what I have done is I have actually pasted this into a notepad and saved it on my desktop. So whenever I need it, I can just open that instead of uh, scrolling and finding that bit under um, the guidelines. So you can do that as well, or you can just you know, type it out or whatever you want. But anyway, this information is something that you definitely want to include on the top of your submission. And um, the keyword is going to be submission for critique. Uh, and this will allow us to search for any submissions. When we get bigger, we may just want to see the submissions. And that way you can just search the group for that keyword submission for critique. Whoops. Um, and then next, you're going to input the book title. And this helps if you submit multiple chapters for your book. Um, and then you're going to input what it is. So this is chapter two. And any warnings. Um, we may have some people in the group that don't want to read books with swear words or sexual situations or anything like that, or, or, you know, they may have a trigger for abuse that they don't want to read. So make sure you input any sensitivity warnings. When I initially started this group, um, we started this group. Uh, from the writing gals group and the writing gals are typically the, the, the founders of that group are um, clean writers um, and that necessarily wasn't my thing. Uh, not that it's a bad thing. I love clean books, but they're not my books. I, I'm not a clean writer, but I'm also not an erotica author. I'm kind of in the middle. I will swear I will have sex, sexual situations. So just be aware that if you did join this group and weren't aware of that, just just to let you know, we're not necessarily sweet romance authors or anything. We're just teen, young adult, middle of the road authors. Um, that doesn't mean you're not welcome if you do write sweet romance. There's nothing wrong with that. Or even if you write erotica, there's nothing wrong with that. Just put it in the warning if the content contains any of that. So for mine, this book does have swearing and it does have sexual language. All right, so now next under please critique the following. What do you want to know from the people who are reading this about your submission? Maybe it's a, a chapter, the, the first chapter of a book that you've been kind of playing around with. You want to know if is it working? Um, is it interesting? Would you continue to read it? Or you want to know about your characters? Or you just kind of, it's, it's kind of a final uh, chapter and you want us to kind of review it for any blatant errors. Um, so whatever you want us to tell you as we're reading it. So for this particular book, the only thing I want to know is um, this is my first attempt in writing from a male point of view, how am I doing? Okay, so that's all I want to know. And then you could also provide any other information you want us to know. Like if this is a chapter three and you've already posted chapter one and two, let us know where those are posted at so we can go read those if we haven't read them yet. All right, so now you can just click on post. All right, and then you'll see, okay. All right, now this says chapter one, but it is chapter two. Um, so now that's it. Um, and I am going to do a, a, another video on how to actually open up the Google Docs file and make uh, comments on it so the author will know your thoughts on it. Okay, so that'll be a separate recording.